Welcome to Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Some of the finest and funniest comedians in the country. Stop here first, and you can see them only at Rossi's, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Get ready for a half hour of highlights. It's Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Please put your hands together from St. Louis, the Fry Man. Get loud for him. Keep it going for Chuck and Rossi. Come on, let him hear you. Come on, what do you say? Come on. Grandma, you drinking over there? God love you. Get her a big shot of tequila or something. And charge it to this. It hasn't last since I got up here. I get another Bacardi and diet too. There's, I know the glass ain't too. I'm gonna need one about every six minutes. <laughs> it's a small glass. <laughs> and I drink like a fish. The fish drink? Okay. Started talking to myself there for a second. Where are y'all going? Oh, come right on in. Come on in. Can we get you anything? Like fucking watch? <laughs> it's a. Old joke, because they're f***ing late, see? <laughs> okay, where was I at? Anybody paying it, huh? Oh, that was quick. Give it up for the bald bartender. God love him, I love him, love him to death. The greatest bartender in Muskegon right there, my buddy. God love him, he's the best. Okay, what was I talking about? Anybody remember? Buying a round of drinks. Buying a round of drinks. <laughs> you need to pay attention, Blondie, you're all f***ed up. Actually, I lost my spot. I'm gonna have to start over. <laughs> so I spent the day laying in my hotel room, smoking pot and watching Lifetime movies like a homosexual. Eleven, <laughs> 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 get twice. I already told him once. <laughs> God love the troops. I was on my overseas. Yeah, having a good time, man. But drink up, drink up. That's what I was asking. How many people were drinking? Yeah, drinking. How about the designated drivers? We got designated drivers here tonight. By applause. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Two of you. <laughs> hope, right, hope you brought a big <laughs> car. That's all. <laughs> Careful if you're drinking and driving tonight, folks, because, uh, well, so am I. <laughs> I. I will hit your ass. I ain't lying. I, uh, I think that's the problem today. Too many sober people on the road. Everybody needs to get with the group and start weaving. <laughs> I got my left blinker on, you know I'm turning right. What the f is wrong with you? <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning on a Friday night, you're not drunk, you need to get the hell off the road. <laughs> Give me some room to weave here, Goober. <laughs> not that drinking, driving, and wrecking is any fun, I've done that. Me and five of my buddies, we were out driving around, we hit something, I don't know what it was. <laughs> it's not really funny. And when I came to, I was in a tree, and the car was upside down in a ditch, right? I climbed out of the tree, and there was a big cop there. He goes, all right, who was driving? I go, apparently no one. <laughs> <laughs> who would park like that? <laughs> I always park on the wheels, sir. That's definitely not my parking. <laughs> he goes, were you drinking and driving? I said, no, sir. I was before I got in the car. <laughs> he tried to pin that <laughs> on me, dude. He goes, well, I'm trying to figure out who was driving. I go, good for you. I'm trying to figure out how I got in a tree. He goes, the way you're acting, I'm gonna have to give you a drug test. I say, go ahead. Ask me anything you want. I've been doing drugs for years. <laughs> Pretty sure I know all the answers, Cheesecake. <laughs> he goes, oh yeah, how many quarters in an ounce? Well, four, stupid. How many ounces in a pound? 16. He goes, how many grams in a pound? Whoa, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think it's like 448, but you got to add 10 for the bag, dude. <laughs> Otherwise, you're getting ripped off, Grandma. That's the deal right there. <laughs> he looked me right in the face. He goes, you got a drug problem? I go, nope, got plenty of dope at home. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Sorry, that one cracks me up. He goes, how much money you spend on drugs every week? I said, about $1,000. He goes, why don't you get help? You can't afford it. 
Blondie, are you getting any of this at all? You're looking at me like I'm an old man in a porno flick. Are you okay? Did you ever run so hard you fart by accident? <laughs> ever fart so hard you run by accident? Whoa. Look at the big guy you're sitting with. He'd probably fart and kill a small farm animal, huh? Right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm just being serious is what I'm doing. Right there. <laughs> what do you say after the show? We go out, eat some chili, drink some Budweiser, kill some deer. Huh? What do you say? Yeah. But Blondie, I'd like to thank you for coming out because I don't know if you know it, but when you laugh, your boobs wiggle. It's very cool. <laughs> it's not both of them. It's just the one on the left. <laughs> think that and the right's upside down. <laughs> oh, don't laugh too hard, big guy. You're wiggling too over there. It's a little <laughs> fest going on up here. Grandma, you want to get in on the fest? We're having a little party. <laughs> Rossi's is rocking tonight. Holy <laughs> Love my job. I got the greatest job in the world. I get to travel all over, get drunk, and tell jokes. I was down in New Orleans. I was taping a TV show, and while I was there, I went to the bar, because that's what I like to do. <laughs> right. I was, yeah, paying attention. Very good, lady. Look at this table. Like, what? what? <laughs> God damn, that time of the month, is it, ma'am? <laughs> I was just looking and going, there's like seven, eight girls and one guy. Looks like a big computer date f up. <laughs> but now I know the problem. I don't I need to hear anymore. <laughs> I'll talk to you people. How are you guys doing? They're a little grumpy over there. <laughs> See, Grandma's being all nice and kind of here. What? What do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am, ma'am. <laughs> Five days a month, you women scare the shit out of me. <laughs> you people are f***ing crazy. <laughs> and you got really good dope, dude. I know that for a fact. I want to party with that f***er for sure. Anybody been to Mississippi? <laughs> and you admit it? Are you retarded? You know who the hardest person in Mississippi is? Tooth Fairy. He's... <laughs> He walking around going, this is bullshit. I'm going to start handing out toothbrushes. <laughs> While I was in Mississippi, I stopped at a Stuckey's to use the bathroom. You ever been to Stuckey's little restaurant place? While I was in Stuckey's, it's a little restaurant place. <laughs> and I was in the bathroom, and they had a sign. This is a true story, lady. Listen up. Grumpy ladies. <laughs> they, had a, they had a sign in the bathroom that said, if you see anything in here that's unsatisfactory, please report it to the management immediately. <laughs> So I ran out to the counter. I go, are you the manager? She goes, yeah. I go, my dick is way too small. <laughs> are you laughing at that, Grandma? <laughs> she goes, my ass is way too big. Welcome to Stuggies. <laughs> Keep laughing. We're getting married next month. My little wiener and her big butt, we're a team. You guys are fun. I'm getting drunk. But I'm sweating like a 12-year-old in Neverland, too. <laughs> Michael Jackson thing, I was thinking. Ferris wheel and everything. All right, we do have comedy here every Wednesday, every Friday, and every Saturday. Uh, and of course, on Wednesday nights, we usually have the karaoke, so stick around for that. And then every Friday and Saturday, we have different comedians also, and a uh, live band on both those nights. So we have three different nights, three different sets of comedians. Now, coming up at the end of this month, some of you have been waiting for this, but at the end of this month, we will have the food. Food will be up and going here at Rossi's at the end of the month. So, enjoy that. And then also, of course, uh, within the next about week or week and a half, 
Uh, we should be having our New Year's Eve tickets will become available in about the next week, week and a half. So make sure you come on out and play in our New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve here at Ross is only $15. That includes the live band, the food, the prizes, the games, and all the party favors, the champagne at midnight. We can't beat that. It's a great deal. We have a lot of fun here. Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property. In today's market, there's a need for a different kind of real estate company. With the people losing their jobs in West Michigan and the need for savings of their equity, people need to look at alternative ways to sell their home and maybe stay involved themselves. I've been selling real estate for almost 17 years. The last eight years I've been with Port City Property here and offering these alternative programs. Every year I do millions of dollars in sales and yet I save people thousands of dollars in commission. So give me a call. I'm actually celebrating. Anybody celebrating tonight with me? Celebrating? Yeah. Well, well, that's a lot of people. Y'all with one group? What, what, what are you celebrating over here? Birthday. Whose birthday is it? Hi. My Oh, hi, honey. How, you, how old are you? 34. God, I love you. Very cool. Now, another birthday? Or, or what else we saw? But it's probably a bad week for that, huh, Grandma? Right there. <laughs> and then, so, Blondie, are you celebrating? I got released from prison for killing a few of you. Look, I'll tell the f jokes, okay, lady? <laughs> I'll bet you're a hoot bag of the trailer park, but I'll take it from here. Now she's all pissed off. Who told him I live in a trailer? <laughs> all right, let's give it up for the birthday girl. God love her, the original one for party and celebrating. I'm actually celebrating with you, sweetie pie. I just turned 4 0. What do you think of that? 4 0, baby. <laughs> Grandma, God love you. Four. I just hit the 4 0. God love you. It's kind of a shitty birthday for me, though. I got a present from God for my 40th birthday. Yeah. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need you chicks. I got my own shit now right here. That's right. I got the beer gut to go with it. Apparently, it's an ensemble. <laughs> and you young guys, check it out. I'm your future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to laugh with the group. What, is somebody scratching his balls or something? <laughs> You're priceless, f***er. You are priceless. <laughs> the doctor is no fun at all, though. Is he, is he ladies? Is he, is, no. Dentist sucks, too. Doesn't the dentist suck? Yeah, the way they, need, they need new equipment. We're flying shuttles to the moon. They, need new, they still got that same black piece of plastic they've been using for 50 years. You know the one I'm talking about? The one they shove in your mouth for the x-ray. They're like, we need you to bite down for the pitcher. Ooh, it hurt. <laughs> you got to bite down for the pitcher. Yeah, it would have hurt. <laughs> we can't take the pitcher to you bite. I said it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> then they take the 900-pound lead vest and lay it across your body. This will protect you from the gamma rays. <laughs> but then they take the camera and put it right here. You know, I'm a stoner. I'm like, hey, I'm no genius or nothing. But shouldn't you put some shit over my head? We're not taking a picture of my dick, are we? Well, you don't feel very safe when they go back behind the bulletproof glass take that picture, do you? <laughs> They're back behind the glass. <laughs> oh, you see that? His teeth lit up. Do it again. All right, we do have comedy here every Wednesday, every Friday, and every Saturday. Uh, and of course, on Wednesday nights, we usually have the karaoke, so stick around for that. And then every Friday and Saturday, we have different comedians also, and a uh, live band on both those nights. If you're only going to be there for two years, then I would say no, because you, you, it's hard to recapture that kind of money in only two years. 
Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property Exchange. We started this company about eight years ago to save people money on commissions in order to sell their home. Many people cannot afford to sell their home with a real estate agent with the commissions that were standard. With our company, people can start off with a commission rate of only 3% to sell their home. We have a variety of programs, including full service and seller assist programs. For 3%, we will actually take care of all the advertising, promoting, negotiating, and organizing of the closing. The only difference is the seller shows their own home for 3% commission versus a high commission rate. So give us a call. I don't like any of them. I don't like the doctor. I don't like the dentist. I don't even like the new guy, Dr. Phil. Y'all watch Dr. Phil? <laughs> yeah, see? The women love Dr. Phil. The guys, we're like, camp. Because we don't know what he's talking about at all. I'm watching him the other day. He's on TV. Swear to God, he's on TV. Just because the cat had kittens in the oven doesn't make them biscuits. <laughs> what? And the women are going, that's right, Dr. Phil. <laughs> are we watching the same shit? <laughs> he's got a new book out called Sex with Dr. Phil. Yeah, I don't think so, okay? I'm not a big bald guy. Well, I did once, but I was really drunk in Europe. <laughs> Cost $50, too. <laughs> but I went out and I bought his book. How many people are having sex? By applause. How many people are having sex? <laughs> Grandma, I notice you're not clapping over there. <laughs> well, I went out and bought his book. Check it out. Chapter one of his book talks about sexual fantasies. Here's what you do. You take baby oil, put, pour it all over the body. You and your partner start to play around, right? This was going good. Then I jumped out of bed. I was running through the house and I <laughs> tripped and fell in the kitty litter. <laughs> yeah. Should have seen me. I look like a breaded pork chop walking around a room. <laughs> I passed out. I woke up and the cat on me, okay? <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, Dr. Phil. That worked out real good, you. Chapter two of his book, he says the man should come straight out and ask the woman what he can do to sexually satisfy her. Because apparently the man does not know how to satisfy the woman. Ladies, what do you think of that? That's right. <laughs> how did I know that wasn't coming? <laughs> so you're not getting taken care of over there, huh? Big lesbian convention right over here is what we got going on. <laughs> Well, I'm laying in bed with this girl. I go, honey, this is your chance. Tell me, what can I do to satisfy you? She goes, you really want to know? I go, yeah. She goes, turn off the TV and go get me my vibrator. <laughs> Chapter 3 of his book talks about water beds. Here's what if you got a water bed. You take the sheets off the water bed. You put the baby on a bare mattress. Yeah, get in and start sliding around. <laughs> it's going good. And I climbed on top of this girl and shot her out the window like a watermelon. See? <laughs> at the window. Honey, you okay? <laughs> Bring back some ping pong balls. <laughs> Let's play some bingo. Put away the dauber, ma'am. Because I know what you ladies are thinking. You're looking at me. You're going, I'll bet you the fry man don't get much. Yeah. Well, you're wrong. Because I don't get any. sex for me is like going to a gas station. I got to pay first and pump it myself. <laughs> the last girlfriend, I'm glad she left. She was a big, huge girl. I gave her speed to help her lose weight. Oh, it doesn't make her eat faster. <laughs> she turned into a turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. She wasn't very attractive either. Only had five teeth, kept three of them in her pocket. <laughs> She was from Mississippi, Grandma. <laughs> but no matter how many bad relationships you have, you always remember the best sex you ever had, don't you? <laughs> always, yeah. This lovely couple right here. Ma'am. Hold on, I'm talking to this couple over here. <laughs> Ma'am, you remember the best sex you ever had? Yes. yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> of course, he's under the table going, <laughs> say yes. <laughs> Did you ever have one of them orgasms where afterwards you can't even move? 
Yeah. <laughs> now he's on the family feud. That's a good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Survey says. Because that's a good orgasm. When you can't move afterwards, that means you hit the grand booba. <laughs> I know, I had one a week ago, couldn't even get up. <laughs> Took like five ushers and a popcorn girl to carry me out of the theater. <laughs> so Muskegon, I'm gonna get up tomorrow, I'll go out and do something crazy, like maybe go bungee jumping. Anybody ever bungee jumping here? No sh Are you people retarded? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, sweetie pie over there now, big bungee jumper. How high were you when you jumped? Um, I had about three joints. <laughs> three joints. <laughs> Another f***ing. You should be sitting with Blondie over here. <laughs> so what'd you do? You do of like a, off a ladder at Walmart or something? How'd you guess? Because I'm a f psychic comedian. <laughs> no, you, no, seriously, you have any idea? How high was it? You know, because... Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. That's why I was telling a joke. <laughs> That's the kind of people that bungee jump. Well, I don't know. They just tied some shit around my foot and pushed me off. Cedar Point. I think I hit my f***ing head on the way down. Cedar Point. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> How high were you when you jumped? Cedar Point. <laughs> Where was it at? 100 feet. If you're only going to be there for two years, then I would say no, because you, you, it's hard to recapture that kind of money in only two years. Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property Exchange. We started this company about eight years ago to save people money on commissions in order to sell their home. Many people cannot afford to sell their home with a real estate agent with the commissions that were standard. With our company, people can start off with a commission rate of only 3% to sell their home. We have a variety of programs, including full service and seller assist programs. For 3%, we will actually take care of all of the advertising, promoting, negotiating, and organizing of the closing. The only difference is the seller shows their own home for 3% commission versus a high commission rate. So give us a call. Welcome to Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Some of the finest and funniest comedians in the country. Stop here first, and you can see them only at Rossi's, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Get ready for a half hour of highlights. It's Rossi's Comedy Showcase. I drink way too much. I think I said that three times. <laughs> I was at a club a couple of weeks ago and they had a breathalyzer at the front door. Have you seen these? The little machine now. They got them now. Little machine, you put in a dollar and you blow in a little tube, tells you your BAC, blood alcohol content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving the club and everybody's going, come on, Fry, man, you gotta blow. Come over here and blow. Blow in the thing, bro. Come on, Fry, blow. And I'm like, okay, and I put in a dollar and I blew in the tube, 2.5. Yeah, and the girl standing there goes, dude, you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> I go, well, Taco Bell. <laughs> so I'm sitting in jail eating a Mexi Melt, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the cop's like, hey, you blew a 2.0. What do you got to say for yourself? It's broke. I blew a 2.5 at the bar. I want my high score. <laughs> I drank so much last night. I woke up this morning. I was so hungover. Staggered into my hotel bathroom. Accidentally put preparation in my toothbrush. <laughs> and that ain't the weird part. I gotta tell you that Colgate burns on your ass. <laughs> I don't have any plaque on my butt, so I'm okay. Never <laughs> drank so much you pass out in the middle of the night. You realize you gotta pee, but you're too drunk to get out of bed. <laughs> You start dreaming at your pen. <laughs> Finally, I get up, stagger into the bathroom, lift the lid, take a pee. I get done, I look down, oh sh! Eating a hamper. <laughs> and that's where the cat sleeps. <laughs> well, I got him after sh. Didn't I? <laughs> you know you're doing. 
drink so much you didn't get that phone call the next day. You know the one I'm talking about? Phone call, you find out how much you're an asshole you were the night before? Just me? My phone rings like, oh, yeah, Prime Man, I'll let you know I'm not pissed off. I know you're drunk. That's the only reason you try to have sex with my wife. Well, who is this? He goes, your dad. Stepmom, and she's really hot. You know, Jerry Springer, freak or nothing. Come on, man. I got drunk once, and I fell asleep, and I had a dream. I was standing on top of the Empire State Building, being all over New York. I woke up, I was on the headboard, getting ready to pee on my girlfriend. She goes, What are you doing on the headboard? I go, What are you doing in New York? Guy next to me stands up, he's like, hi, my name's John. Everybody goes, hi, John. He goes, I'm an alcoholic. He said, now everybody looked at me. Go, oh, hi, I'm a fry man. Everybody goes, hi, fry man. I go, John's an alcoholic. <laughs> we need to get him some help. <laughs> you want a beer, dude? <laughs> That's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> they kicked me around. <laughs> Sent me down to talk to the psychiatrist. I don't know if you've talked to these crazy people. I walk in her office. She goes, what's your problem? I go, lady, I think I'm a dog. <laughs> she goes, how long you felt that way? I go, ever since I was a puppy. Thank you for joining us for Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Don't miss it every week on WMKG at 7.30 every Monday. Or catch the comedians live at Rossi's every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday starting at 8.30 p.m. It's all at Rossi's comedy at its best.